in the word rummaging? Rummage? Hmm? Rummage. It must have two G's. Rummaging. Mic check, mic check. Rummaging. 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 <laughs> no, it would be rummaging in. Rummaging in. Min. Excellent. It's five o'clock. It's Thursday. You're watching Chelsea and Tony and Matt Granger live. And as per usual, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store for you and your ideas. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. So try Squarespace at squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio to get 10% off Squarespace. You can submit your portfolio at sdp.io slash link and we'll look at it we'll tell you what's up we'll judge it <laughs> we'll introduce matt in just a second up first why wait justin here is in the studio oh frantically Hello. switching stuff yes you can tweet to justin uh at hashtag tc live we also have siobhan out in philadelphia why really everyone but matt. justin work <laughs> There's Siobhan. She is our producer and she's screening your comments. So you can type live to us in the comments. Ask Matt questions. How about that? And then Ask Siobhan will Matt toss them over. Questions. And up next, Matt Granger, live from Australia through the miracle of technology. How what, are you, Matt? What time is it there, Matt? It is 7.05 a.m. Yes. Whoa. Good morning. Well. Whoa. Matt, today people will be submitting their portraits to you and Excellent. you get to tell them if you like them. And you get to crop them, right? I get to crop. Well, Tony will crop it and I'll probably raise the shadows. Excellent. Uh, well, don't touch that one on my grandfather then. It's all shadows. I want to see what's going on back there. Yeah, that is a terrible <laughs> picture. I got to reject. That's, that's if you want to send in there your pictures... To be reviewed by Matt and us, go to sdp.io slash submit and use the password koala because Matt is Australian and that's just... Koalas. He's our favorite koala. Yeah, it was the nicest thing I could associate with Australia. I think that's last time we did That's actually the national dish for August. What? Koala. Do... It's the national food for August? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> you don't it's really eat koalas, food. do you? Warming. <laughs> I see your uh, pictures are coming in live right now. We'll take a look at them in one second. Matt, you are going to Bhutan. Tell us about that. Yes. Actually, I'm going <clears throat> in 10 days and then again in May. So I'm off uh, just heck? really soon for my first tour. And then I've just put live my second tour for May next year. It's exciting. Wow. That is exciting. And you do workshops there, right? Well, yeah, it's a guided photography tour. So we've got a couple of local guides for all the history and culture and temples and monks and stuff. And then I'm there for the photography guidance. Um, do you that have any openings? Uh, for the one in 10 days? No, but I doubt you could squeeze in another holiday now anyway. Uh, but for May, yes, I only just put it live on the website yesterday. All right. Yeah, I haven't actually announced it on YouTube yet, so exclusive. exclusive. And it looks like you have an early bird discount. So macranger.com slash Bhutan, which is B-H-U-T-A-N, or just go to his site and look for it. He's got his workshops and stuff there. Yeah. Awesome, Matt. That sounds like a real blast. Like I, I'd actually really love to go to that. <laughs> I don't know if that would be Well, he invited us weird, before, but... but we said yes, and then yes, he said I did. no. Yes, you did. Um, That's how we roll. We're off next week. In two weeks, we'll be looking at your landscape photos. So get that ready. Two weeks. And do you want to do chit chat first, or should should we look at a few pictures look, first? I think that we should just do chit chat first, just to get the creative <laughs> juices flowing. What do you think, Matt? Okay. Yeah, sip that coffee. This is about to get real. I was gonna say it's not gonna set the tone as just being kind of bitchy for the day, is it? Because I'm down for that. Oh, yeah, because it's the morning for you? No, 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 no. I don't pick chit-chat comments that actually would upset anyone. They're usually just funny. Okay. Except Fine. for this one. That's this not person, funny. This person, Nakaya Mitchell, said, Tony is gorgeous. Oh, and great information. I would totally go to a hands-on class. Hands off, <laughs> Nakaya. <laughs> And then David Davidson said, damn, this guy rocks gray hair like a hot fashion statement. And here comes Nakea again. 
just a home wrecker saying I was literally thinking the very same thing. He looks good. Wow, she's pretty. I know. Matt, do you ever that get must any be her in the thumbnail? <laughs> like hot for teacher style YouTube comments? Um, on my world's best seafood channel, I sometimes get some heavy people saying, "I'd love to join you for a meal. I can eat a lot too." Does that count? Yeah, yeah that's, that's 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 hot. Exactly the same. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you ever do any <laughs> hands-on classes? Uh, I do, not in the way that Nikkei is thinking, but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going for the bald rather than the gray, so I don't think I'm her cup of tea. People are into that. You I know, think we're just excited because somebody like me. Monk fetishes. Every, every day, there's just a massive onslaught of ch comments about Chelsea. That's not even true. <laughs> 365 days a year. That's not true. Right. Somebody finally mentioned me, and we're all excited Absolutely. about it. Yeah. Uh, people always get mad when we have you on, Matt, because we joke with you so much, they always say I'm mean to you. You are mean to me. Well, I know, but they notice. Uh, I see a yeah. tear rolling down his cheek. I know. Long He's got feelings, too. <laughs> he doesn't. Long Island Hillbilly said... Great interview. Nigel seems like a really nice guy. His images are incredible. Very inspirational. Nigel is a nice guy, unlike Matt Granger. Um, <laughs> Matt's little face. I'm sorry. No, but Nigel has a show coming out called Top Photographer. You can submit a picture. What is today the last day? Tomorrow is the last day. So this is like your last chance to get your picture submitted. Um, get yourself, get your photos judged and be taught by Nigel Barker and some other big photographers. And I think me, we're oh. still like finalizing it. Okay. Well, but. I wanted to submit my picture, but Tony said that would be weird. So you guys should do it on my behalf because I'm missing out on a great opportunity. Do you know what we're talking about, Matt? Yeah. Top photographer from Arizona. Right. Okay. I didn't know if you could understand my accent. It's pretty heavy. Uh, Craig Leach says, you two. R2 throwing the poo at Moon Truth. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> it's very Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Do you agree with that, Matt? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on Team Michaela now. What was her name? His name's Craig. Oh, uh, this guy. Uh, yeah, throwing the poo. <laughs> Moon Truth. <laughs> Something <laughs> about you guys are bringing the truth, maybe? I if you're off your meds. Oh, I, I wonder if we, it's entirely possible we went on about the moon landing That's conspiracies what I'm thinking. or something. Yeah, oh, the moon landing. Moon cons truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, wow, you, you speak maniac. <laughs> you can translate for us in the future. Uh, He's not a maniac. He's just too cool for me. Um, this person said, please use the erratically flying head to test autofocus of DSLRs. I thought that was funny because we put a mannequin head on a drone. And flew it around. Yeah, that was not popular. People really didn't like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tony, you came to me and said, think of an idea to test. I said, put this head. I know. I came to you and I said, we should test these two 50 millimeter lenses. And you're like, that's the most boring thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what can we do? What can we do? <laughs> Fussy oh. Lawn Care said, please, Matt, don't ever quote unquote sing again lol no seriously just don't and i have no idea what they're talking about because i've heard your voice and it's you have the voice of a generation like angels like angels like so, this guy spends his day listening to lawn mowers okay and looking at all the double negatives i'm pretty sure the winky smiley face at the end means it was all a joke and he wants a, a three-way thing off right now i agree with you <laughs> i'm gonna agree with you um, do you, do you know TLC's classic Scrubs? Maybe we can bring that in at the end of the show. A scrub is a guy that gets no love. Also oh, known as a buster. You don't know that part? That's a slow down lounge gym. All right. Oh, wow. I'm off. Wow. I, I can't believe you were able to just go right and be perfectly on key with no notice. You were impressed so easily. <laughs> <laughs> um... Matt, I have to explain this one to you first. There's Probably some... to everybody. It's not like everybody knows about this. <laughs> no, because this is a thing now that I, I invented it. It's probably it's what I'll be. big in the U.S. and Europe. It just hasn't made it to Australia yet. When my great-grandchildren talk about me, this is what they're going to talk about. I invented something called home aloneing. And whenever you're telling a personal anecdote or giving a plot synopsis, you actually just tell them the plot of home alone. Oh. Uh... 
And so... Uh, <laughs> and Okay, I hope there was like a fair bit of evolution to getting to that, and that wasn't just the idea you had. <laughs> no, um, that's the idea. I thought of it when I was home as a child and two burglars broke into my house. Anyway, really? these people are really into the idea. They said, haha, the Home Alone thing, totally going to use that. I love Chelsea's Home Alone deal idea. I will definitely be using it. This person made a home aloneing meme, but it turns out they left Kevin at home. Are you still listening, Henry? So this has really got legs. If you want to spread it in Australia, I really encourage that, Matt. Yeah, I'll, I'll put on the Bush Telegraph, see if it takes off. All right. All right. Now let's get into to real business here. Okay. I thought chit chat was like your mean, bitchy, unnecessarily, you know, pedantic comments, not just crazy people comments. That's it nice. Goes, it, it goes. We do it all. We do it all. <laughs> um, you can see this, okay, right, Matt? Yep. Okay. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, this particular one. Um. It says it was taken in Vietnam in 1971. It actually doesn't feel very portraity to me because there's no yeah, eye no. contact. It seems more like candid. It's pretty. Yeah. I like the colors. Yeah. So I think it's, it's nice. a, a scan of a, a, a slide or a, a negative. Uh, it, it's so hard to tell because I'm looking at a scan negative via a scan negative um, via Google Hangout um, on the Google screen. Hangout on but the it looks like screen. The, but it looks the like the left the plant on her left is, is, out is in focus, focus and she's yeah, out of focus. Um, um, it it kind of looks like um, uh, it could be a fashion shot, but it's just too tightly cropped and the the garden is kind of taking all the attention. Do you really think that that was taken in 1971? Everything she's wearing is currently in fashion. <laughs> Things go in cycles like that, right? I guess I'd be inclined to to believe them. Um, what are your thoughts? This, I just the open toilet. The toilet, and I can't see anything but her foot on the toilet, and that's all. It's I can almost think like about. her whole body is existing to point to that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Leading line. Le yeah. Well, at least they flushed. No, I had a model in Melbourne once who was explaining that, um, you know, when the photographer runs out of ideas, uh, indoor equivalent of putting a woman on the train tracks outdoors is having her sit in the bathroom, especially on the toilet. On the it toilet. Kind of, yeah, it kind I, of, there's yeah, got to be better I, spaces in the house. There's got to be better spaces in the house. You don't too. really get a sense of the, uh, you know, the architecture or the design of the bathroom. You just see the bowl. I do Reminds think... Reminds me... Oh, go, go ahead, ahead, sorry. Oh, just thinking, it reminds me of that scene in Crocodile Dundee where he goes to New York and then he's trying to work out what a bidet is. Are Memories. You, I think Matt just invented Dundeeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, is is that your thing. favorite movie, though? It is. It's for washing your bum, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so maybe the foot on the toilet Wait, was a bit much. I, but I, also, it's like nice a candid light. portrait. Like, she's looking out the window as if we just kind of stumbled across her supporting her weight on a toilet. I have positive things to say. Okay. The light this, is really nice. If this, I like yeah. that big window, and I like the natural yeah. light. And I think this would be a great location for an in-the-bathtub shoot. Not necessarily nude, but a bubble bath or a milk bath or... There's a lot of great natural light in a really cool ceramic tub. Yeah. And I, let's get that toilet out of there. I'm sorry that all I can see is the toilet. I see potential. If the photographer could squeeze in behind the toilet and shoot straight across, mm -hmm. he could just use that black wall to make a nice portrait with that light. But uh, what was it? He was using a fast 50 mil lens. If he could blur that out, it, I don't think the bathroom's a great location. Okay. Um, I immediately just jumped into to editing this. I mean, it came in washed out, and I don't know, um, maybe that's a deliberate. You feel like more contrast is better in this? Yeah, maybe even like some kind yeah, of maybe. colored filter. Oh, if there's, oh, it's a JPEG. I was going to say, if there is color information to somehow separate out her jacket from the hide as well. But You're right, just a little more contrast there, because she's kind of blending in some. Okay. I'm going to try to move along pretty quickly. Yeah. This makes sense yeah. to me. 
Yeah, I think this is an interesting shot. It seems very selfie-ish because it's taken up close to the wide-angle lens. I don't know if it's actually a selfie, but it, it definitely could be. Oh, it's a selfie because you can see his hand <laughs> in the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so cute. we need it's two like of the those wedding It's cute. It's like those McDonald's uh, dogs. Uh, proportion. Sorry, Matt. I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. Your show. Just mute me. It's it's <laughs> cute. It's like those McDonald's puppies. <laughs> Was that only an Australian thing? McDonald's the puppies. puppies. The little puppies. I can Anybody? like piece together what you're talking about. It's cute. What a great expression. <laughs> Look at that little oh, missing she, tooth. Oh, she's missing teeth. I. It, it feels more like a candid than a portrait, though, right? And but, yeah. Maybe it's on camera flash, but it's casting a shadow from her hand across her face. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. I like the colors. I like the energy in the picture. But yeah, I, I, I like the shot. I don't know that I call it a portrait down. This feels like. A portrait. I'm going to give this one a pick right away. I just love the mood that it has, the nice soft light. What are your thoughts, Matt? It's gorgeous. Can I just say on the last picture, the thing I like best was that it's titled Tiny Dancer. Yeah, I saw that. Well, yeah. Uh, on, that? On, the, on the monk. Yeah, I love it. Um, uh, I'm not quite as croppy as you guys, but on a shot like this, going to Bhutan a lot, it might look like you can pose these guys a lot. Pose these guys a lot, and, and sometimes often you just have it. That, often you just have two to get that the shot second when you're or two to get it. Mm -hmm. So saying, "Oh, he should be here, there, or you should have done all these things," is a bit unrealistic. The a only bit thing unrealistic. Say, the only thing I'd the say, photographer step, if the photographer steps to her left, to his left um, or her left, to get um, the monk to get in between the, monk, the ruin in between on the left, the ruin ruin on the right, left and, then you could do a four by five crop on this, and he'd really pop. It was the same with that last girl. Um, I think trying to draw attention to someone, there's a few ways you can do it, obviously, with selective focus, uh, differential colors, uh, lighting, that kind of thing. But the last, the tiny dancer, everything was just kind of stacked up and you couldn't even really see a face here. It's like the tiniest little thing. I think it's awesome as it is, but it maybe could be even better if he was just kind of framed by the two bits of rock. Yeah, that's that's really good feedback. Oh, yeah, maybe Brian. And my only, com I think this picture is incredible. My first impression was just a big wow. And then as I started in inspecting it, I would just like to see the face exposed a tiny bit more. Not even necessarily the whole photo, but it's nice when you're making eye contact to have that payoff and have the face be properly exposed. I'm going to just try bringing the highlights back down because I, I really miss the like soft texture. Mm. I don't know. Nice. Okay, I don't think we agree on the processing. I, I, I liked it as is. I like the original. Yeah, I wasn't even saying blow out the background, but just exposing the face. I would yeah. like that. All right. That was amazing. Okay, so this seems like a proper posed portrait. Um, it seems like it has on-camera fill flash, but I think it works pretty well here. What do you think, Matt? Uh... Well, I reckon uh, if you're stuck with a wide angle lens, I mean, this is, what are we talking here? A crop camera with a 35 mil. It's not ultra wide, but depending on how you're going to use it, rather than stepping in, I would actually shoot this from a little bit further back than crop it in, because I do feel you're still getting some distortion here from that lens. Yeah. And working with <clears throat> the model, knowing where to put your hands can be the most awkward thing when mm -hmm. someone's inexperienced at posing, it doesn't feel like a really natural pose to me. Um, and I would work through some options in terms of the shoulder, often having that front shoulder right up. I mean, here it works because she's wearing a scarf and it looks like a windswept day on the beach, but it can kind of feel closed off when you've got the lead shoulder up like that. I agree, and this crop is a little awkward just chopping off the hand there. But what I do like are the colors, the red and mm. blue, the background mm. is really nicely exposed and simple and nicely. And I love the hair over the face. And I love. Yeah, there's a lot of nice things, but you're right. There's something a little awkward about it. So. Um, but great placement of the background, too, the way the horizon goes kind of following the rule of yeah, thirds. Like this, yeah, it's nice. Great composition for the background. Not everybody does that. Here they both seem to be looking off camera. And I know it can be tough with kids to get them yeah. to look at the camera. What what always happens is when we have a portrait session with kids, 
we'll be taking pictures, but then mom will be behind them, like trying to get them to get the right expression, but then they'll be looking at mom. And that's kind of what this feels like. Like they're just looking over the camera where mom is standing. Yeah. Um, I like their expressions. I love that they have these genuine smiles. I find the background to be distracting. There, and there's a lot of color that's distracting. So I, I liked it better in black and white. Likewise. And even with that, then with when you don't have the the contrast between, say, the red door and whatever that mesh is above it in black and white, it's not nearly as apparent. It's kind of all on them. And it's a bit of forced perspective, but it looks like that kid has like a size 13 boot. <laughs> don't you think? Maybe she's wearing, I, I don't and think it's. And a claw hand. I think it might be uh, <laughs> maybe not her boot because look how small her hand looks next to it. That's true. What's with the huge shoe? <laughs> He's going to be an amazing swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> this baby is watching the news and bad things are happening in the world. <laughs> uh, I I like the kind of unconventional composition and the use of negative space. I guess I find myself a little bumped by... Um, the strap going over her shoulder and the way it's kind of loose, it, I'd probably just clone out the strap completely. What do you think, Matt? Uh, it's hard. I don't think you always need to have an edge on someone. But, yeah, without it, if you knew that she was in a dark room watching a TV or something like that, then it, the, it kind of makes sense. But as a, it's a set-up portrait, it looks like. So it's just someone against a really dark background that crop, it does feel a little bit odd to me, to be honest. I, but still, I don't know that even just adding that ad, an edge slide to it would make much of a difference. I guess um, maybe having some context of what was going on. Oops. Oh, you don't have a keyboard. Oh, yeah. Forgot about those. And I just kicked out my power cable. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's you my okay? American impression. You're yeah. on a rampage. Um, um, <laughs> this baby is having feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's really cute. There's no distractions in the background. You got a great expression. The the catch light in the eyes is, Those, is really fascinating. Amazing. That's an adorable child. Oh, poor kid. <laughs> Look at those eyes. I want to try this one in black and white as well, just because his features are so beautiful and his shirt is so red but maybe the red adds to it let's see my mouse is being wonky no my mouse is just not letting me do stuff um, never mind go oh. but yeah never. i think i'm with you on the black and white and with some processing that contrast the black and white mix you want the contrast higher yeah look at those eyes boom yeah black gonna, and, and then way to go matt do you, you think that was right it uh, well, I was going to say you could bring it in a little from the bottom to get out, just have the, the straps, only because I'm looking for how can you bring it in closer, because for me it's all about the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, his eyes are adorable. And then I think I'm addicted to 4 by 5 crops, but I'd probably get rid of some of that uh, space on the right. Um, why do you like the 4 by 5s Are you making a lot of prints? Or just no, like the shape? Just, I find a lot of shots suit it. Um, I find it so funny when people say they only crop, but I don't think ev they never crop, sorry, because I don't think every shot works that well as a 6x4. Yeah. Um, this picture, I'm liking it a lot. Look at those eyes stand out so much more now. Go. Guys, that was great teamwork. The three of us, we should do this professionally. <laughs> High five. Uh, oh, this wow. is a crazy set it's almost i feel like i'm in a play i think i feel like i'm in a cosplay what do you oh. feel like matt <laughs> um I, I can't think of another play word um <laughs> it's early it's early are they contacts or just super uh, whited out eyes i was just zooming in because the, yeah, the eyes are bumping me a little bit yeah i think she's wearing blue colored contacts but she also put the lashes beneath her lashes to make her eyes look even bigger see that's the sea urchin effect yeah she's got a cool thing going on so what you think i like it 
I think they've balanced it out nicely. They've popped a light in the back behind her to give depth to bring up the, the greens in the tree behind the gazebo as well. Uh, I think, it, yeah, I think it works well for what they're trying to, to tell you. Could just maybe try some different vantage points, uh, a little bit more straight on or or top down, but I think it works nicely as is. I, again, it, it's the this kind of cosplay stuff is so heavily posed. If this were just a portrait of someone, then I would think the pose is ridiculous. But for what it is, it, it seems to work fine. You know, the issue that I have with this picture is that the styling is larger than life, and then the way it's processed is just kind of conventional. So I'd actually like to see them go a little farther with the contrasting and maybe um, play with some filters, get some different colors in, make it more ethereal, because she looks very ethereal. You're right. Put some, some fake lens flare in. And yeah. Like the corn. Yeah, a little, a, yeah. A rainbow. Aww. So Matt, or what do you think 10, is out the balloons? What do you think is happening here? Uh is that an that's ridiculous. Whoa. Whoa. Well now, that's subtle. Um <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> yeah, I have never I I guess that's a portrait. Um it's a <laughs> kind of well processed, bizarre snapshot though, with all the people walking around in the background. Yeah, I actually think it was stronger with some sort of crop because the yeah there were just so many distractions there. Cast the background out of focus, or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, th no I think word. it's a difficult thing to capture. I don't know what I would do if no. I, was I think it, with... it, it, he captured it. It's just it's a difficult thing to process. What the hell's going on? I... Well, there you go. <laughs> It's the big balloon fro. You can't argue with that. I yeah. don't know. I um, feel like you've just missed focus. Still. Right? Yeah. Or the shutter speed is slow. No, the shutter speed should be... F there does seem to be camera shake or motion blur or this something. This child is just fast. Oh, you know what it is? Control. They fire mm. the flash. Yeah, it's the flash. Yeah. So it's ghosting from a flash. So just take some more shots. Um... Yeah. It's a gorgeous picture of your kid, though. You know, yeah. if you're not going to enter it into a photo comp, you can still just print that and send it out on your Christmas cards. That's cute. Yeah, yeah it works for that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Nice earrings. <laughs> nice tie. Matt, how'd this person get a picture of you? Hey. This my, I, I haven't worn a tie for years. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think, do you think he's got a, got a job interview with Santa, did, maybe? Did you read the um the title of this one, Tony? Yeah, and I I almost gave it a pick, but now I feel like it... He's telling you what to do. Yeah, I don't she, like it. You're not the boss of me. I'll give you a pick. Well, he's wearing like a tie. Tony has control issues. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit tighter crop, and maybe even getting down lower. And I think we have the same kind of syndrome where the baby is looking at mom who's squeaking a toy behind the camera. I don't have a syndrome. Take it back. <laughs> Can you hear how he talks to me, Matt? I can't imagine how you two put up with each other. I think the baby's really cute, and that would be very difficult to get, especially if you're actually shooting it around Christmas. This shot came in Why a little is it harder around Christmas? underexposed, so I brightened it up. Because everyone wants to rip stuff open. And everyone's pissed off. Christmas. Yeah, that's Stress. true. People don't realize how much they hate Christmas. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, I'll say with this shot, the the colors of the outfits are really distracting to me because they're so brightly colored. And how that's is a this baby so kids. smart? That's what's distracting to me. <laughs> oh, and that the baby <laughs> like seems that to be baby posing. has her PhD in posing. <laughs> uh, I feel like somebody's holding the baby from behind. <laughs> Like the legs Their are like clothes sticking are actually out. stapled together. Um, you shot this <laughs> at a... 75 millimeters in F4.2, but that wasn't enough to get everybody's eyes sharp. She, do you think the baby's going to kill him after? Look at her hands. <laughs> he's going in for a chokehold. <laughs> so I think, I think all of these show just how hard it is to shoot kids. It's hard enough to pose an adult who will give you five seconds of attention, but... Um, 
this might be one where having proper posing stools and cubes for them to sit on will work so you don't have his knees all tucked up like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so but that, again, simpler <laughs> outfits, higher f-stop. Um, but overall, cute expressions and really good light, I think. Great I don't background. Even, I don't even want to change a thing. I'm going to give that... Oh, I was going to give that one a pick. I'll I'm just... Back. I'm so impressed by that baby. <laughs> <laughs> you need to sign her up right away. This feels like... It, it has a certain mood to it with the, the dark jackets and the mixed eye contact. It... I don't know what to make of it. it. It seems almost like a noir mood, like a film noir mood, except that she's kind of smiling and almost posing naturally. What they, do you think? They kind of remind me of spies or something. Yeah. Exactly. They're going for the fashionable, cool thing. You know, uh, it's fairly common, I think, to have him look at her, her look at the camera. It's a, if the title's correct, that's a first attempt portrait, and I reckon it's done quite nicely. There's no distractions. That's There's their no first attempt? Wow. Well, yeah, that's a fine there's. first attempt. Uh, no heavy shadows or anything like that. And, you know, con comparing it to some of the others, they are showing off their their clothes and you see both their faces quite clearly. Nice watch placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe just the, the, the color cast is a little funny in the background. All right. I'll give that one a pick. I like it. I think it was carefully thought out, nicely posed. Well, it... I liked it too. This is really nice, too. I'm going to title this one Paper Cut. <laughs> Posing hands is really hard, right? <laughs> you have to give models something to do with their hands. Like, the classic thing in the 80s was always to put your hands, like, I still in your pockets, like, that. poking out, or put your hook your thumbs in there or something. It's just the cool thing to do, and that's why I... Big leaf to... it. Huh? Or you just big leaf it. Oh, what am I doing? Fig leaf it? <laughs> yeah, just right in front here. Oh. Oh, whoa. whoa. Why did it do that? I broke it. Okay. Great expression. That's a wicked pair of frames. Her eyes are a little out of focus. Where is the focus? Where are we? Yeah, I think maybe it, it focused on her scarf. Be sure to use a single focus point and put it right on the eye. But I joke, but I do think this is a nice, light, clean portrait good eye contact nice smile simple background there's a lot going on yeah i think I like. it turned out really well let's go to matt's four by five and let's see if we can just crop her hands out because the hands are a little awkward say, in this one if she did just drop her hands to the side you, you could fill up the bottom of the frame with the scarf and it'd be nice already i like it better without the hands yeah, we might even go a little bit tighter. What do I do with my hands? I never know what to do with my hands. Hands are hard. It's like when someone points out to you how you walk and then you forget how to do it. You're like, oh, I have legs. <laughs> Here's an environment. Yeah, that's portrait. not happened to anyone else. <laughs> I'm certain it has. This is wow. beautiful. Yeah, great mood on this, great lines. I'll give that one a pick right away. Thoughts? No? Yeah. No. Love it. <laughs> Uh, why don't we go to Siobhan and see if she has any questions for us or for Matt, and I'll uh, queue up a portfolio to look at. Hey, Siobhan. Siobhan, looking good. Hello. Thank you. I have a party to go to later. You have fun at that party. <laughs> Thanks. Is it date night? I mean, I mean, I dressed up for you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, I feel You're so not special. even going to try to lie. Nope. Um, I got lots of questions before the show even started. From Jim Setzer to Matt. Like what is that know. funny camera on your wall in the upper right that looks like it's got a jack-o'-lantern on it? <laughs> Let's cut to Matt and see what's up with that. Uh, I guess this one. Does that look like a jack-o'-lantern? I can't see you guys. No, 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 no. It's, it's all the way top right. The orange thing. Oh. Up there. Uh, that is a $3 plastic Korean camera. Uh, I don't know that it's important that it's Korean, but on eBay it came from Korea. That each of the, the two eyes and the mouth, ha it has three different lenses, so each frame gets a weird three different perspective crop on it. I've never used it. It was a space filler for the background. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have a 
some samples for you, Jim. You let Jim down. What else do you have, Siobhan? What is the best way to get your model to relax for their portrait? Weed. (laughs) (laughs) That's actually in our photography book. Yeah. (laughs) Plug, plug. (laughs) Chapter six. Drugging your model. Uh, I find just having everything set up nice and clearly beforehand is the best way, whether they're experienced or new. Having it really clear what you're going for, having inspiration picks, knowing what the the run sheet's going to look like if you're shooting for two different uh, publications or whatever. For example, I'm shooting this Sunday with the model I shoot with often, and I'll send through a full run sheet of these are the different things we're shooting for, these are the different outfits I need, this is inspiration. So there's not going to be any surprise when she gets there that we're shooting completely different, you know, having it all nicely set up is probably the easiest way so people can be mentally prepared. I think that's solid advice. Siobhan, I'd like to hear another one. Sure. Sure. Um, Two separate questions about the same thing. The best portrait lenses for Nikon DX cameras and the best portrait lenses for Canon EF cameras. Well, I don't know if we'll have different answers, Matt. What are your favorite ones? Uh, I only have one DX camera in my life now, and it's a fixed lens, and I don't use it for portraiture, so that's no help. Um, uh, I find it really difficult to answer this, and I I understand not everyone is like me taking a ridiculously stuffed to the brim bag to a shoot, but I don't, you know, I have lenses where I just love the look of them, but for example, if I was shooting in a bathtub, in a bathroom, you know, (laughs) I'd be using a different lens than if I was outdoors in a field. So I shoot all the way from 15 mil through to two, 300 mil, depending on the frame that I want and what I'm trying to do with the background. So I really don't have a lens, but I know that's what they're going for. So uh, on a DX uh, around 50 to 85 mil, if I have the space to use it, I like you're kind of free from distortion and you've got the flexibility. The The downside to using longer lenses where you're getting some of the best, you know, optical quality is your working relationship. So, you know, <laughs> just for testing sake, I was shooting a portrait a few weeks ago with a 500 mil and it's ridiculous. You're yelling instructions to someone, <laughs> you know, 20 meters away, 50 feet away. You have to also think about that working environment of how close you want to be to them. Um, I will add, have, have you had a chance to play with the Sigma 50 to 100 F1.8, Matt? No, I don't really get my hands on much Sigma stuff, but it's meant to be great, yeah? Yeah, we love it so far. Oh, they didn't send one to us. We had to just buy it. Um, but so far, it's <sighs> been fantastic. And as a portrait lens for DX, it seems absolutely perfect. Um, on a DX body, it's got a little more reach than the Nikon 70 to 200 on a full frame body. So oh, yeah. it's only 100 millimeters, but it works really well. And there's no breathing or anything. And it seems like razor sharp, fantastic background blur. And it's an F1.8 zoom. <laughs> it's awesome. That's a much more helpful answer than mine. There you go. I thought your answer was helpful because people think there's one right lens. And you make a great point. What? is your finished product? What is the look you're going for? What is your style? Where will you be shooting? Who is your model? There's so many things. Yeah, what's your working distance? What's the background look like? To me, it's all about picking the background that you want and then you kind of position everything within that. Yeah. Let's take a look at a uh, portfolio. It's hosted by Squarespace. Oh, Matt loves Squarespace. (laughs) He loves when we talk about Squarespace, too. This is Elemis <laughs> Photography. It looks like the photographer is Jacob Peterson. I'm just going to jump to Jacob's He looks port, friendly. Uh, contact page. He looks approachable. He's from Georgia. What's not to like? The only uh, thing is, look at his front page and how awesome and vivid and dynamic all those thumbnails are. And his looks like it was taken with a cell phone against a bedroom wall. <laughs> Okay, so make friends with a good photographer and get a, a, a portrait of yourself that kind of matches your style. Or maybe just make a selfie, like a good selfie. Yeah. Good advice. Uh, what, what category do you feel like jumping into, Matt? Maybe we should look at portraits. Oh, it's you a have portrait no side. Stay. Wow. <laughs> wow. He created the good illusion to be of choice. Um, I 
I love the light. It looks like he's shooting with a ring light. Oh, I like that one. Which is especially distinctive. Yeah, the I guess it adds some atmosphere. Um, it got a little blown out here, I think. Mm. Maybe we shouldn't be... I don't know, ring lights are so specialized, I probably wouldn't include more than one ring light photo in a portfolio unless they were very different. Yeah, the I think the thing with the... Uh, well, you guys are the portfolio kings, but especially with portraiture, it's really obvious when... Um, and queens, I'm sorry. Um, it's really obvious when there's a bunch of shots taken of either the same model or at the same shoot, and it kind of looks a bit like you, do, you haven't shot that much. So as well as putting your best work forward, trying to mix up, as I was saying, different looks, different... Uh, so the ring light is so distinctive, but then also maybe different models and different kind of Styling. sets or shoots yeah. at least. So at least the, they can look at, okay, so here's five really strong shots that show five different shoots he's done, and then you could start to double up. But the first one, it could be, I could be wrong, but it looked like the... You know, the first three could have been taken at the same shoot. The f the second and third, maybe the same model, maybe. Yeah, I agree. We could use more variety and just more shots. How did they get Iron Man? To... <laughs> I would sweet. say with this shot, go crazy with it. Like, I would completely take out the background, put anything back there. Explosions or I would something. Put an explosion. Yeah, explosions, right? Explosions are cool. Drama. Drama. Uh, horror? That's not... A category we often see in somebody's portfolio. I'm scared already. What? These shots are ah, really well wow. done. Why are the legs all cut up? Why is that rose on fire? Because it's the horror section. I'm so scared. Duh. This is great. This is amazing. Yeah, these shots are really solid. <laughs> Getting keep up at night, but good. <gasps> um. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> genuinely scary stuff. <laughs> the um the range on uh, this guy right like he's got a bloody face and then a beautiful spiral staircase i'm feeling so much yeah that one <laughs> i really like it this one i was a little bumped by the reflection of the like office lighting and it's all the way through it yeah so you can get those little mats for shooting that kind of thing you can see the bottom corner and the lines all the way through it further down was there another one that's uh, that one. What is that? A uh, street light from outside? Yeah, it is. Okay. What? Yeah, but I like the tilt on here. It feels very oh, film noir. That's Dutch. cool. Um, yeah, this one seems to have the reflection of glass on it too. Yeah, you is can get Trump right Power? up against the glass and maybe push a hood against it or hold your hat up and block the light. But be we aware of that. This you could easily Photoshop out. You could fix that. Um, beautiful sky there. Really nicely done. Um, so in general, I think the layout of your portfolio is working well. You have some good work in there. Um, I would definitely like to see you flesh out your portrait this section is, a little this bit. This is so picky, but how this is jutting out at the bottom and this is not quite yeah. even, that really bothers me for some reason. Yeah. So is that just that the, the site takes the specific size of the first image? Maybe they have an option that you can have it balanced rather than using it one to one. Or if he cropped out that big reflection at the top of the architecture and included a bit more space on the, the two on the right, it would just balance itself. Yeah, he can actually edit, he can actually crop it on Squarespace so he doesn't have to take it out oh, and re-import so it. Handy. He can edit it in Squarespace and then try to get it lined up. They yeah. think of everything, don't they? It's amazing. And I'm glad you agree, Matt. Matt, when Matt and I talk privately, he makes fun of me for being sponsored by Squarespace. I do not. That had context. You're a hater. I, <laughs> I, the website looks great. What can I say? I'm not a hater. And I think it's great that you are so upfront with your sponsorships. So don't, don't twist that. I met with Squarespace last time I was in New York. They seem really cool. Oh yeah. They're they cool. Yeah. You can just make these thumbnail pictures, uh, the same dimensions and everything should line up and then crop that. So it, it matches. You want the proportions to be right, but it should be easy. Let's see what Matt. Jake we have to say. tell people that we are doing our meetup in Germany. Hello. Wait, 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 uh, yeah, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. About Squarespace, uh, he had to say the drag and drop interface is great, and being able to keep my photos across different templates is huge because I don't have to rebuild everything. You can set your site up, make it look great with all your photos, and then just switch templates, and it moves all your photos. So you can actually try diff completely different layouts out with no problem. 
We like Squarespace. Oh, so does Matt. Matt loves Squarespace. <laughs> he talks about it all the time. <laughs> if you want your own awesome Squarespace portfolio, go to squarespace.com slash Tony. 14-day free trial. Make your pictures look great. You can even send it in to us for review during the 14-day free trial. If you decide you like it, coupon code portfolio will get you 10% off the low monthly fee. Every site includes a store, mobile analytics. Now you're just rubbing it in. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Thank you, we are meeting up in Germany. I don't yes, have a slide for this. Which day? It's going to be Thursday the 22nd? Fourth? I don't know the date, but it's the <laughs> Thursday of Photokina. Yeah, I think it's the 24th of September. I think it's so, the 22nd. At 1800 hours. Yes. So how about if we, the easy spot to meet is um, on the steps of the cathedral. It's the 22nd. It's and the 22nd. there's three big sides to the cathedral. So meet on the one facing... The train station. So we'll just be standing on the steps with the fifty thousand other tourists, and they can just find us there. Should It'll we wear fun. special shirts so they know it's us? Yes, definitely. I think I'll wear a red t-shirt, and you can bring your pacifier and pose like that little baby was. <laughs> okay, that seems fair. It'll give you something to do with your hands. <laughs> um, so yeah, we don't really have a plan, right? So we'll just meet and chat and then walk and shoot and then probably end up at a bar somewhere yeah so we'll do a little photo walk with everyone and then we won't plan you made some good points we won't plan the location for the bar until we're there because we don't know if they'll be able share to, it out yeah we're not sure if we'll, they'll be able to accommodate everybody see how optimistic it be thousands yeah yeah isn't that the day you yeah. guys get there won't that be a little crazy I don't know. Yeah, we're still kind of working that out. You get okay. there on Thursday? Well, we might have to reschedule because of the top photographer thing. We're still working that uh, out. We might get there right in time to meet with you guys. Yeah, like I might go there directly from the airport. You want to look at some portraits? Oh. People send these in live Now the I show. feel stressed. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a month or two away. She's got... A super cool outfit on. She's got like cutoffs and like studs everywhere. She's got the coolest boots in the world. Has she got stockings tied up to her Daisy Dukes? <laughs> That's odd. You're right. Yeah. I think it connects like to her pocket. Yeah. <laughs> um. I guess I just feel like the pose the is too traditional for the outfit. I think the background. Is that a real background or was that added in post? Oh. Like a great wool. Yeah, I guess I believed it. But, but I like the styling. Right, she's it... got great makeup. She's got the same bra as Tony. It looks good. I don't think I'd change anything. Okay. I'd put her in a more intense like pose. Just because her outfit is so intense. Which pose would do you think? Yeah, like sitting on a bathtub with a foot on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That poor guy. It's your go to pose. No, on but that? I, the one thing, I don't know that those cut off denim pants really work. I'm no fashion guru, but everything else seemed to be in a style. And then you got a, just that bit of denim there. I think it could be like... a leather midi skirt or something, but you know, you got the studs, the straps, the fishnets, and then ripped denim. Everything else kind of looks, uh, I don't know. Feels like it's got a single vibe going on. I, yeah, I can see that. I also think maybe it looks kind of rocker chic or biker chic. But I don't really Is know. Is biker chic a thing? I just made it up. So why do you have to call me out? This is a good example, well. I think, of... <laughs> we were talking about what focal length to use for portraits before. And one of the things you have to watch out for, this is shot at 50 millimeters on a full frame body. And as a result, we have some perspective distortion. So she's leaning in towards the camera a little bit, but it makes like her hips and legs look smaller than they necessarily yep. are because it's farther from the camera. That's a, you know like, what I mean? She like she's bad, distorted though. a little bit. Are you sure? It's, yeah. It's not a, a big deal, but yeah. As some people would love it. If So this is shot around like her chin, something like that. Yeah. So if you want to get, like if you're shooting at a lens with that kind of distortion, getting ha exactly halfway through your frame is where you want to go. So on this going to, you know, her thigh to above her head, it would be around her rib somewhere is where you'd want the barrel of your lens. So then at least the distortion is applied top and bottom. Right. But you can play with it. So maybe having her 
you know, look half feet away and look really small is a look the model might really like. Or vice versa, going down low, you can make legs and everything look longer. Oh, look at that background. Yeah, I was going to say, they just need to select a little better when they're... This is fine, the fact that you did that, blacked it all out, but just select a little bit better. They could read our Photoshop book, now available on <laughs> Amazon or at Northrop.photo. It's cheap, and it will teach you how to... There's this chapter on removing backgrounds. Boom. Boom. <laughs> That's after the weed section, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is uh, such beautiful colors here. It seems like a scene from a movie, right? It feels cinematic to me. I think it's really yep. nicely done. It's got a really, really mood to it. I wish it had eye contact. Oh, really? I don't mind it. Ah. 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 Like it. Okay. Who's this? Hassan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that Obi Wan or Hassan in a bed sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, drama. Um. Yeah, the the. I'm trying to. the The background is bumping me a little bit. It is very dramatic. His face is green. Yeah, I I don't necessarily that I didn't necessarily bit. mind the kind of. Green. bizarre colors also is he standing on his cape you or no hassan at all he would never do that let's see let's give away no i guess secrets. He's, not. he's fine i think it's cool i guess i don't really know anything about these sort of like cosplay portraits do you do this kind of thing matt yeah he does take people of pictures Ugh. of people in costumes yeah only <laughs> when that's what they're into it's not uh, like if they want it for a publication or something i don't do it for out of that much interest but i think your initial change of dropping that by about a stop works uh, a shot like this you know expose it for the highlights it gives more drama and then we still got enough detail in his face what do you think of this unconventional uncon composition i love it i like it too i'm giving them one a pick matt i love it i wonder if it was intentional oh it feels Even deliberate oh, to me oh my gosh and what are the the lines around here do those just stop on the wall they're I fake, think I think. Like I think they added them in post. Look. Yeah. Oh, you sneak. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Pretty know. sweet. Wait, maybe that's a pattern on the wall and they play. No, that's It just perfect. happened to go around her head? It's too perfect. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, man. Oh, no. You can see in the hair, right? That's Has she been added in there or the background's been taken out? The hair looks kind of gritty like it's had bits cut out. I don't think so because they're very fine flyaways. And okay, over the I line, too. Detail. I think this might be on the wall. I think that pattern might be on the wall. But what's up? Oh, my God. What's up with this? Why is that defying gravity? <laughs> you don't know her life. I don't know her kerchief, Matt, either. Um, could we do some cosplay stuff? Like, I could dress up as yes. Pikachu, and you would take pictures of me? <laughs> I have... My friend has a Pikachu that you can get in, and it's got a fan because it gets so hot and, like... Tina, she, she's got like a life-size or a person-size Pikachu. You'll be really easy I, to find them. In it. I can't believe the answer is yes to that. <laughs> now you're now you've basically signed up. up. Thousands of to. people have seen you I'll agree bring to this. the Australian um, uniform as well. That's the Australian uniform is a Pikachu. No, but I'll bring my Australian uniform. What is that? Is it just a speedo? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I have a Vegemite t-shirt. I could bring that. And I, ha I do have a cape, obviously. Obviously. I have a white wig and a feather boa. Why are we naming... I, I'm going to talk about this picture. This is the same <laughs> problem bring your as... Diaper and tie, Tony. <laughs> Tony, you're always ruining our fun, I noticed. This is the same problem as the 50 mil shot that we looked at earlier and that there's a little perspective distortion there. Step back, lower the camera, and maybe put a little angle on the wall. It's just very square, but I like his pose and his outfit. He looks dapper. Yeah. The wall is so in focus. We're closing in on six o'clock, so I'm going to try to get through some of this. Matt's got all day. It's only like eight o'clock there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the mood on this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Matt says, mm -hmm. nice. I like, I like it. it. I might, you could bring the bottom up just a little too um, closer to her elbow. Just bring it in on the the interesting part of Kelsey. Oh, just crop it a little. Mm 
You did it, Matt. Nice flying baby. Done. <laughs> Pick. Dun, 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 For dun, flying baby. I've never seen flying baby, but I love it. Why'd you go past flying baby? I feel like Freaking we covered flying baby as much as we could. <laughs> <laughs> uh this is nice kind of got a bit of a studio hardcore feel about it uh yeah i like it the fall away into nothing at the bottom it's pretty yeah i like the shot too i like the mood on i i agree i feel like there's something that could be done with it the hand is cropped kind of uncomfortably and that just her fingertips are cropped off and i feel like you have to kind of go deeper or leave the fingertips there. So maybe I'd, I'd crop in just a little bit. Um, Whoa. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola. 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 Is that the one who's been leaving comments on the Silver Fox? Yeah. <laughs> no, like that person's cool. name was something else. But this lady missing- probably oh. wants a hands-on class too, Tony. I don't think you could possibly expect that <laughs> um um it's a very like she's she's very done up and carefully posed the background just feels kind of plain to me don't you feel like it needs some more something different in the background yeah but that's kind like of fashiony to have working. a plain background i think the lighting is really nice i love that they're showing off her sleeve here mm-hmm. and her yeah. other tattoos on her her chest yeah I but i think the lighting is fantastic oh no that's above uh the, the for a social media fashion shot shooting against the white wall is just what they do just uh the underwear strap is kind of showing through in that pose and then is that on her right hand is that a bracelet or is that like a hair tie i think it's, I a, know, it's I, a bracelet oh, yeah. but it does look like a hair tie that um the positioning of that hand's a bit weird it's like actually having her hand on her butt that's not even on her hip it looks a bit uncomfortable my only my only criticism is that her face looks very <laughs> stiff to me mm-hmm. like i'm not getting a lot of emotion and she's very beautiful so maybe just well that's not the photographer's fault but you can work with your models and kind of teach them about expressions and stuff this is pretty much all top half though you could bring that in to the split in her dress get all the tattoos and get rid of the the right hand all the intri- all of the you know it's 50 percent of that shot is where the shot really is you're saying yeah. just a deeper deeper crop yeah if, if her pose if her arm wasn't out like that or even like that if you could get a crop That's that a included the sleeve okay yeah that i think that improved it Oh. I think this is a really cute natural portrait. Yeah, she's got a nice smile. Yeah, great smile. Nice in focus eyes. Yeah, great background. Good shot. Great light. Oh. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> um. I feel like the light is a little blown out on her face. If we had the yeah, you might. I guess you can recover that pretty well. Yeah. Just add a little extra mood to it. How do you feel about that crop, Tony? It's a little... Yeah, it was a little unbalanced. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Yeah, there you go. I think that's nice. I feel like this guy's my dad, and I went out to lunch with him, and I told him something that disappointed him. That's the story. No, he would just be disappointed because you were trying to take a picture of him. I'd be like, oh, Dad, Jesus. I dropped out of college, and then this would be his expression for the next hour. <laughs> just an hour? Mm-hmm. He's the type of guy that gets over stuff. Yeah, he'd forget. That was uh, the only feedback? <laughs> yeah. I like I it. Guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It feels like a candid picture. Uh, I just say that doesn't need to be an ISO a thousand and an eight hundredth of a second. Oh, unless you're trying to get a, a gritty look to it. Yeah, I actually didn't notice any noise, but yeah, even for me, I'd rather add the noise in post if I were to do it. Yeah, but as far as like a character portrait, I, th- I think it works. Um, this feels downright bizarre to me because of the <laughs> it's the hat. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the jewelry. That feels so formal. Yeah. yeah. She's wearing so much, but so little. They, uh, it is a weird mix, isn't it? The, if you cropped just the shoulders, it looks like he's at the races. Yeah. But the, including that little hint of tattoo with the innocent, pure white lace. The background is so great. The light is great. It's got so much potential, but a couple of the shots have felt just... Oh, there's so many great elements here that have been put in a blender. Yeah. You're right. You you need consistency across the mood, the lighting, the pose, the outfit, the makeup, and the expression, and too. She has this, like, super happy, like... <laughs> it's like as opposed to, like, sultry. See, I have a thing where... I Matt, you do it really well, but What's shooting that, someone in their underwear or nude can be so much more difficult because... It can be goofy. For some reason, I find that it's so much harder for people to style a shoot like this or to get the pose and expression right in a nude shoot because it's so easy at this point to come across awkward or weird or cringy. I just think it's far more difficult to nail a shot. But look at her fingers. She nailed the hand Her pose. fingers are great. Very difficult to great. do. Now, can you guys see on the shot going back, can you go in on her face on the... Is it... Because of the brim, I can't tell. Does she just have American teeth? Have they been brightened? Or is it that the brim is blocking light to her eyes and just catching the lower half of her face? I think she's just I got think great been, teeth. Yeah, I, I don't know. American teeth. American teeth. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. That's a thing. Look, look how nice thing. it it's looks a... with this crop. Doesn't it feel... I actually like it cropped in like that. She has a nice expression... And then her hand and her hat and the pearls all make sense. <laughs> it's as soon as you zoom and, out. And oh, she's, she's in wearing a nice <laughs> white summer dress. Oh, wait, no, she's not. Yeah. yeah. It gets a little shocking when you zoom back. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I think even halfway and just for me, the tattoo, I, I have nothing against tattoos. I just think with everything that's going on here, the last thing you need with the lady hat and the lingerie and the pearls is then the bottom half of a little tattoo. Yeah, even that, I reckon, cleans it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, the tattoo's okay. It's just it was kind of cropped weird, so it felt weird because it was at the edge. I of think the frame. even a bathing suit. This person were really ripping into the styling. I feel bad. Your picture. You have so many things that are right, and it's one of those things where something's just not right, and then we're focusing on it. But I think even a bathing suit, you'd think, oh, she's at the beach, and that would and make more the, sense. It's the the. I mean, that's a white lace bra that's been overexposed, and her teeth are still like half a stop. Uh, American teeth. You've got teeth envy. It's funny. I didn't think about her teeth at all. They just look normal to me. That's like normal, she has normal to teeth. Us. That's normal to us. Um, this seems a little overexposed. Yeah, in the we, face. We have really heavy flash, and it, it's happened. not matching the color of the light in the background. So the light in the uh, background is really yellow. Oh, so when you have a an on camera flash like this, one thing that it does is it lights up the hair in an unflattering way, so the hair can tend to look kind of you know strange i don't want to say oily because it doesn't really look oily but it doesn't look soft and then you're also getting a really harsh light in her eyes and on her skin um, um and compositionally her eyes are right at the midline and you'll probably be happier with photos if, if her eyes are more towards the the top third so you could just angle the camera down a little bit or yeah you can always crop and post yeah i think that works really well Fixes the color problems too. Matt, how Matt dropped feelings? off for a sec, but that's gone. Back. No, I can hear. I just I feel like maybe there's a delay. Just oh, I think okay. the flash was too strong there as well. Hmm. I think the flash was too strong there. Yeah. Yeah. Too, yeah, too yeah. Against the background. Maybe they could have even. Yeah. I think this is a good environmental shot. I I feel like he's in his workshop, or maybe it's a bar. Actually, it's a bar. I thought it was. So they're probably just the hanging cafe. out with this dude. There's Matt. There's Matt. Welcome back. But great processing on it. Everything seems exposed good. Cool. Granger. What's up, love? <laughs> Any feelings on this picture? No. <laughs> Well, maybe we should head back to Siobhan and see if Whoa, she has any questions for us. Oh, but this is beautiful. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm giving that one a pick. Um, this... It's a tight crop, but there's no distractions in there. There's nothing for us to even be bumped about. Yeah, the editing is beautiful. The tones, this bright burst of 
red in the lips. Yeah, the way her Perfect lips are parted focus. just a little bit. Do you, you know, think she that's doesn't just have like a real yeah, smile. yeah, I mean, it's so I miss you. <laughs> Beautiful. Aww. That's Andrew Brunson. You should check out Andrew Brunson on Instagram. Hello. Matt, are you okay? <laughs> are you a ghost? Yeah, this is a beautiful shot. Very fairy tale-ish. Mm, it's really nice. Yeah, it is really nice. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, we you. can hear you, Matt. But it's not clear. It's like that movie Poltergeist. This is Kyle Wolf. We've seen this one. Matt it loves is. Kyle Wolf. Oh, we yep. have seen this? Yep. Yeah. Um, the light here is kind of ethereal and then it's it's, it's coming down. Oh, improvised headdress. Oh, I didn't know Kyle had the Metacon 50 millimeters. One of my favorite one of my favorite Are lenses. Are you okay, Matt? I've been worried about you. <laughs> <gasps> He's all pixelated. Um, the only thing that bumps me about this, I know it's an improvised headdress. It just has some wrinkles in it, like it's been recently folded. Take an iron to that thing. I, in theory, you could Photoshop out those wrinkles, but it's really difficult. I've tried to do that before. But I think it turned out really cool. You there, Matt? Ooh, uh, I this like is this mom. A lot. Yeah, I like this too. Very moody. Done probably with just a, a big window, so probably natural light. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> like Matt looks like a watercolor now. Should I try? Uh, He's beautiful like that. Maybe calling him back or something. I don't know. I probably wouldn't fix anything. Yeah. I kind of like when he's just humming in the background like a ghost. This seems like a, a good, quick portrait. I feel like they just got their faces painted at a carnival. Um, but <laughs> That's what you feel like? <laughs> just going out on a limb. Makes you, what makes you feel It could that? be tattoos. You don't know. <laughs> That's some Matt! intense tattooing for kids. <laughs> Talk to me. I, I would just get a little closer. <laughs> Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> He's so <laughs> sibling. Oh, I don't know why. I thought it was like He's talking to us. I thought this was a prom Flicker picture. Flicker the lights once and they for just had yes. a, like a chaperone. But I think you're right. They must be siblings. They I'm have a trying to communicate with Matt. Distinct family resemblance. <laughs> Blink once for yes, Matt. Are you having fun? Um, Matt, do you have any tips for didn't blink. <laughs> for group portraits? Because group portraits are hard. Because one thing people do is they don't get close enough. So here we have the lady in the middle with her, her arms kind of held together, almost like she's trying to stay as far away from them as possible. You have to get <laughs> like uncomfortably comfortable. You have to put your arms around each other. I feel like get a little chummy. Maybe tilt the heads in. Like if you're on the outside, tilt your head in a little bit towards the middle. Uh, tilt your body in a little bit towards the middle. Can you actually hear me? We can, can hear, hear you, you, Matt. We can't see you. I can hear you. It It is a miracle that we can talk at all, all the way from Australia. Oh, there you're looking good. What do you think, Matt? I wish you could see me. I'm looking really good today. I see you. Um, you do look great. Yeah, yeah thank you. No, group, group portraits are hard. I would say just make sure you don't rush them. Um, often, you know, if people are a bit awkward to start... Uh, if you do know, then they'll uh, eat up there. Uh, if not, they may just get more and more uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, it's to be honest, the hardest people to get a group photo of is other photographers. You'd think giving specific instructions, get to stand and everything will work, but the bigger the group, it's just, it just gets to be a nightmare. But uh, I think this is fine. Yeah, just the girl in the middle looks a little bit closed off. That's makes the pans in, in the middle. I will say oh, I try to avoid sure shooting. She can't I try to avoid shooting the whole body whenever Ghost. possible. So for three people like this, I'd probably have them lean in closer and do like a head and shoulder shot. Because once you get the whole body in there, now you're dealing with the hands and the posings of the bodies, and it, it gets really complex. I would get two of them to kneel, like get on their hands and knees, and then the other one to get on top and make a little family pyramid. And that's just making fun for everyone. That's sweet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you just, if you guys want to know how the pros handle it. This is a cool shot. The story is kind of told by the reflection in her sunglasses. I like it. I'm going to give it a pick. 
I like so much about it, but there's something about the colors that are. Yeah, I see. Well, yeah, they should be warm, kind of sunsetty. But I think it might seem a little odd because it's, her yeah. glasses have like a Remind, tint to them. That's me. Oh, are you okay? Is Siobhan there? Can we speak to Siobhan? No. I'm here. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Do you have any questions for uh, Matt Granger's ghost or us? If he answers, you're only going like, to be able to hear half of it anyway. <laughs> I can hear you. Well, Thank we you. can partially hear you, Matt. Um, what are all of your plans for Photokina? We're going to try to get there. And then we're going to meet y'all and we're going to look at the new stuff. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have any other. Matt always has meetings with he's like, businesses and he's working out deals and sponsorships. And yeah. we just show up with like a camera. He's amazing. I'm like, I found a cool taco stand. I said, uh, I have hey, I didn't say that with sponsors. They're mostly with schnitzel houses. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Matt, you're almost better like this. But yeah, we don't have any great plans, Matt. You should ask him. If he could talk to you, he'd say he has so much planned. <laughs> uh, can I just comment on this picture since it came up? Beautiful shot, right? Uh, yeah, I like Masterful it. work with uh, the lighting. Black Knight G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a pick. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, Siobhan, you have anything else? Well, while I go through some of these last pictures, we're running over time, so... Yeah, sure. Um, any tips on how to make up? <laughs> Matt, shut up. It's not your turn. <laughs> we can I just hear him. closed my hangout. So yeah, he says. My audience is out. Don't get crazy. Sean, I'm get mean. You got to be careful. I can hear you. Um, do you guys have any tips on how to make a model look taller besides the low angle shot? Put her next to short people. <laughs> and build small props. Yes, yeah, so you can put them next to an inaccurate ruler. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Platform shoes. Uh, they actually do corrective surgery in Korea where they will lengthen your legs. I've seen that. Just saying. There's a lot of suggestions for you to work with. <laughs> Are you now wishing my audio didn't work. <laughs> no, I like you like this. Just distantly insulting. Beautiful shot. I'm giving you a pick for this one. I'm just flipping through really quickly. Whoa, I like and that I love fight. the mood on this one. 85 millimeter F14. I just love the effect of that. She's yeah. kind of leaning in a little bit, which really casts her body out of focus. Anything else, Shablon? Oh, Did yeah. you just kind of call me Shablon? Yeah. Um, oh, yes. brain. Gorgeous picture. Look at that. With the um, any tips Five. for a maternity shoot that this guy is doing this weekend? Um, yes. Keep it classy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> what What was the other? All what What picture did Only you see that's making you give this question every day? Oh, I don't like when I see the ones where people are like trying to listen to the baby. I hate that shot. There's some weird ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> it's too cute. Heck. Um, what else, Siobhan? Um. Oh, look at that! It's uh, beautiful light. Look at them plugging their social media. <laughs> what do you do when you start getting burned out on paying the bills with your camera to stay fresh and excited with what you're doing? Oh. I mean, that doesn't happen. Um, Elaborate. Yeah, I mean, do you are you taking pictures and thinking, I wish I weren't paying the bills with my camera? Because I just have to think of any job I had before this one. And I'm immediately thrilled. <laughs> you know, if you're shooting portraits day in and day out, I think it definitely gets a little tiring. Yeah. But you could just switch genres, like go do some wildlife photography. Yeah, do something for you. Matt, do you ever get tired of... What you're shooting? Mm, yeah, I think what they mean maybe is like getting creatively burnt out. So it's not, if you're shooting weddings all the time, unfortunately, you can't just decide to become a landscape photographer. 
So it'll be taking on some personal projects. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, you sound good. Yeah, I agree. Taking on some. I feel personal... like I'm talking into nothing. You're not. Don't call me that. No, you're. Okay, you're absolutely this will right. be delayed then. <laughs> Guys, listen to Matt Granger. <laughs> He's not visible, but. Uh, but also, collaborating is the biggest one. So work with new people, new people on set. Even if you're a beginner, it can seem a bit daunting when you're getting started having too many opinions on set, but it, it always leads to better things. So collaborate more. I like that idea. Um, yeah. We're getting some great photos at the end here. Are you people seeing this? Yeah, I'm kind of going through really quickly, but oh. I'm handing out a lot of pics as I flip through because there are just a lot of great, great shots in here. I'm sorry I can't spend time on every one just because it's so late. Siobhan, Beautiful anything colors else? on this. Look at that nice mood. Sure. Pick. Cool hat, Love bro. Love him. Um, do you guys have any tips for shooting the meteor shower tonight? Oh, I forgot about that. I would shoot it like Star Trails. So chapter something, night photography has... 10, maybe? Yeah, I think it's chapter 10. Has some tips on star trails. Do you ever shoot meteor showers, Matt? Nope. Pick. I, I love that shot too. Yeah, that's a great. I like it a lot. Um, it, it's really tough because I feel like I've gone out specifically for meteor showers before, and then the clouds come in, or we have a full moon, so you have to literally the stars have to align. But I've accidentally shot meteor showers when I was just out shooting star trails, and that technique seems to work really well for me. So. Lock that shutter open, just keep taking 30 second exposures over and over again, and then sort through the pictures later. Um, maybe stack them all together, or maybe just pick the pictures that have the meteors in them and blend them. <laughs> Look at that cutie. <laughs> oh, great tight shot of the eyes. Uh, well, I think it's about time. Is there any last things you want to say, Matt? I know we want to plug your... Oh, look at the silver man. ...workshop to Bhutan. MattGranger.com slash Bhutan. He has a workshop coming up in 2017 that's not yet sold out, so get in there fast. Yeah. SDP.io slash top if you want to enter the Adorama Top Photographer Contest. Thank you, Squarespace, our sponsors. Also, you guys have to come see us in Germany. Yeah, I think we just yeah. the 22nd of September. Yes, Thursday. Well, we still don't have video from Matt's feed, but I we miss can him. see him. Sorry, Matt. Matt, do you want to sing anything? Uh, a scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. And he holla at me! <laughs> Did you just play, uh, like, the record, or was that you singing? Be honest. I know, right? <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah. Um... Shoot, where'd it go? Sharky James was watching and commenting, and he posted a picture on Twitter of himself with TLC. What? what? Sharky? From 1992. Hey, Sharky. That's amazing. Sharky ain't no scrub. Um, Joe Baker submitted an awesome picture. Sharky James is really nice. Everyone, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Justin and Siobhan. Thank you, Matt. I'm sorry we can't see you, but you've been lovely. I'm just trying to find... Thanks, Scott. Oh, there's Sharky oh, James. It's with TC Live. I don't know. What? I, I almost said this doesn't seem relevant, but this is the most relevant thing we could possibly show. 1992, what a good year. They just came off tour with MC Hammer. Wow. Matt, do you know any MC Hammer songs? Only... Does he have more than one? Too legit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. <laughs> Why would you see a picture of TLC and make him sing MC Hammer? He, it's they, all about chasing waterfalls. Because they, they just came off the wood with MC Hammer. Look at this picture, though, before we leave. That's Joe Baker. He's amazing. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic, right? Yeah. Like, beautiful lighting. Okay, we really should head out. Uh, Siobhan, enjoy your party. Matt, thank you for joining us. Justin, thanks for keeping Bye -bye. everything together despite massive technical difficulties. <laughs> this is a technological marvel that we can talk to Matt Granger live all the way from Australia. Chelsea, thanks for joining us. <laughs> As always, you are the host, but... <laughs> I love being here. Me too. Okay. Bye, guys. Next week, two weeks, Landscapes. Bye. Bye. Are you still with us, Matt? That is all. 
Yeah. Are you I've been okay? able to hear you fine. 